In this tutorial, we'll be creating this animated gradient text effect. So this was obviously inspired by the Google Gemini promo, if you've seen it, and it had a similar effect where the text was animated with a gradient behind it, and I figured let's make a tutorial about it. So we'll start off by creating our text layer. Let's type in animation, and I'll hit Control alt home and Control home to center things out. And let me actually scale this up a bit. And I'll be using the animation composer, which is basically a free preset plugin type of thing. And if we go into the text layer animation here, we've got a bunch of preset we can use. So let's go with this one, select in, and just like that, with one click, we've got the text animated. All right, let's hide this for now. And we'll create a new solid. We'll call this gradient. And here I'll drop the four color gradient effect. And let's just select four colors to work with. So maybe orange, blue, kind of a purplish blue. And yeah, we can leave it at that. And let's increase the blend here a bit. Now here's a trick to animate a gradient. So alt click point one, and we can type in wiggle and open bracket 0 0.5 comma a thousand and we'll select this and copy it now we'll alt click point two paste it and do the same for these two as well so now once i play this back you can see we got all four colors just dancing around you can obviously increase the intensity by increasing the thousand to something higher okay so this will be our gradient and this is our text so let's duplicate the text layer and we'll call this one mask Let's drop it below here and I'll select our solid to be a track mat to this mask. So if I hide the main text here, we've basically got the gradient inside this text animation. Now on my mask layer here, I'll drop a few effects. So let's start off with the echo effect and I'll set this to composite in back, increase the number of echoes to something like eight. And let's go back here so we can actually see it. And I'll set the time to minus 0.01 so it's creating this ghosting effect and we can also decay this if we want to just a bit maybe 0.9 and this is what we've got now let's add a glow you can use deep glow or just the default glow it doesn't really matter and increase the radius a bit and now if we enable the main text animation you can see that we're getting this nice looking effect and any type of animation you create with your text, you're gonna get similar results. So for example, I can even go here, hit R and set a keyframe for my rotation. Let's go over here and set one evolution. And as you can see, every time it is animated, the echo effect will follow along nicely. And the last thing you wanna do is make sure you enable motion blur to smooth things out. It will also help with the echo effect. So if we go in here, you can see that it smooths it out here and it looks quite nice. So this is pretty much it for this tutorial. It's a pretty quick effect, but looks quite amazing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.